the University of Alabama in Huntsville. Three campuses. The University of Alabama in Huntsville has zero board representation. Zero. The University of Alabama has a couple of UAB graduates, but uh, I think anybody would agree there's, a, there's no one that's totally independent who graduated from UAB that serves on that board. My bill would allow the alumni board from UAB to send four names to the governor. And of those four, the governor would pick two from UAB to serve on the Alabama board system, uh, board of trustees. Same in Huntsville. The Huntsville alumni board would pick four names alumni send those four names to the governor and he would choose two. It would increase the Board of Trustees of Alabama by four. Anytime you have a, a complicated issue, it could be 17 to four, okay? It's not close as far as winning uh, an issue when an issue comes before the trustees. Still dominated by the Tuscaloosa campus. Dominated by the Tuscaloosa campus. It simply would give UAB, UAH, another set of eyes, another set of ears, a voice representing UAB, a voice representing UAH. What is wrong with allowing those two campuses having token representation. I am astonished at the effort that Tuscaloosa has made to defeat this legislation. I met with some of the Board of Trustees about two and a half weeks ago at their request when they heard about this bill. There were five of them and one of me. And I offered to let them be the ownership of this bill. I says, we need to do something, y'all need to do something to solve the issue that's going on primarily in Birmingham. And y'all need to step forward with something positive. And y'all can claim ownership to my bill and I'll handle it for you at Montgomery. Y'all need to endorse this to allow UAB and UAH to have some token, rep token representation on this huge board. They refused. They wouldn't have anything to do with it. They wouldn't even talk about it. I think they were insulted that I even asked them to allow UAB and UAH to have some representation. So it was a cordial meeting. There was nothing combative, but you know, we talked for probably an hour and a half. Uh, but I left uh, uh, with nothing. So I introduced the bill because I still think it's necessary. I think it's fair. <clears throat> I am so curious on why Tuscaloosa has fought this so hard. The lobbyists are working the halls and we've all seen them. I've seen them, y'all have seen them. They're in and out of your offices. Uh, I don't understand why. I just think it's fair and I think it's reasonable to allow these other two campuses, these other two campuses to have some representation. You know, the, the budgets, the, the population, there's 41,000 people that go to UAB every day, 18,000 students, 23,000 staff, faculty, workers, 41,000 people that go there every day. And they really have no representation on the Board of Trustees. And for the life of me, I don't know why this committee would vote against this to allow token representation, but I understand you're fixing to. But that's all right. I've made my statement. I feel very strongly about it. I don't know how you could really, in good conscience, be against it. But with that, Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh,
Ms. White, before we get to the committee members, there are two of our Senate colleagues here that have asked us to speak on this bill. Senator Holtzclaw, I know that UAH is, is in his district, and Senator Smitherman was here. Yeah. And, and they've been asked to make some brief comments, and I think that should be in order. Welcome to the committee. Welcome back to the committee, thank, Senator Holtzclaw. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I truly miss serving on this committee. I can tell. Uh, but, uh, but thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, I'm here today uh, in support as co-sponsor of Senator Wagner's bill for a couple of reasons. Uh, the most paramount of that is that uh, the campus of UAH is squarely in Senate District 2, the district that I represent. Uh, Senator Sanford, who could not be here this morning, uh, has also a portion of that campus. So together, the, the, uh, the two of us um, uh, represent the, the actual physical campus of, of UAH there in Huntsville. Um, I look at this legislation as nothing more than gaining a seat at the table in the boardroom. This is eyes and ears on the ground. Uh, and from my days in uniform, nothing beats boots on the ground. Nothing beats a report from the front lines where somebody says, I've been there, I can tell you what the landscape is like, I can tell you what the environment is like, and this is what's going on. And for the, the current board of trustees to have that type of valuable first-hand information when they're making decisions that may or may not impact other parts of the state or other, other uh, pieces of the university system is invaluable. Uh, and I, I stand here in support of uh, Senator Wagner's bill along the same lines. I can't understand why anybody would not want that level of, uh, of insight as to what's going on in the day-to-day -day activity. So this is about an opportunity to get a, a seat at the table in the boardroom and provide that type of valuable insight. And it's a two-way street. That valuable insight is also being able to take that from that meeting and be able to communicate it back to the many members at those universities, whether it be UAB or UAH. Thank you, committee members. Mr. Chair, I encourage you to support Yes, I was going to ask it all. Are boots on the ground better than a billboard? Well, since you want to go there, we, 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 we can do that. Hey, so. Senator Holtzclaw, I, I, I think I've shown that, that I, I know how to do one, and we can do it. Uh, that's, that's what's required. And I'm, I'm going to discuss all of this out of order. And before we hear from Senator Smitherman, and before we get off on billboards, uh, there is an amendment, and I want to get that on the bill. Because we, uh, and I'll let you text it. If you'll explain the amendment, uh, we'll wait for my clerk to disappear to come back. Mr. Chairman, after close scrutiny of this bill, I know it's a, a period missing after the word Alabama. It's a technical amendment. <laughs> hey, no periods after Alabama. There's one there. Yeah, if you would. And I would uh, ask the adoption of the amendment. Uh, Senator Pittman seconds the motion to adopt the amendment. And. Uh, is there objection to previous roll on the period? Seeing none, so ordered. Uh, Senator Smitherman, if you would keep it short because another committee needs this. You know it's hard when you're a politician and a lawyer to keep it short. I understand. But I'm too, as the chairman said, I want to say good morning to the committee. Mr. Chairman, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak. I was sitting at the, the uh, table just for a minute, of course, you know, you all knew I went on the committee. And I was sitting there, I said, these people might want to wonder why he ain't voting for this. And I can't because I'm, I'm not a member of the committee. But I do want to say this. First of all, I rise to support Senator Wagner and his bill. Uh, I think that he is absolutely right in terms of having representation. I think my colleagues know where I've st stood on representation on boards and agencies and, and diversity as well for the last, ever since I've been down here. And this is another form of diversity, a diversity of representation for the citizens who graduated from UAB, who live in Birmingham, who are alumnus of UAB. It's only fair and right that they have an opportunity to be represented adequately at the table. You know, if, you, if you're not at the table, you can't be a part of the decision making and what takes place. The second thing I want to say quickly is, is this, is that, you know, in this whole process that we're talking about, uh, uh, the schools and this relationship, UAB provides 60%, maybe higher, of all the revenue, all the revenue that comes into this system. And, and you can't tell me that the person that provides the most skin in the game can't be at the table to talk about the policy as it relates to that. And that's what you're talking about here, simply that. So I, I, I'll just say two other things in close. You know, I can't understand, and I know this, the bill is about the board, but I'm gonna say standing here, I can't understand for the love of life if, if, if uh, Sanford University can have a football team, if Birmingham Southern can have a football team, if Alabama State can have a football team, if Alabama a and can have a football team, why UAB with 20,000 students cannot have a football team? I don't understand that. And, and, and a stadium as well. And they provide the money that's necessary. So no, I, I, I think that that's totally wrong. 
what took, took place there. And, and I, I go one step further. I think we need our own board, our own board of trustees. If they're worried about the money, make some kind of compact about why the money is operated. If they're worried about that, well, it's time for, you know, it's like, I must close with this, Mr. Chairman. It's just like all of you when you have kids who grow up. When your kids grow up, what do they do? They leave home, okay? We don't grow up. You know, we grow up, and we want to leave home. So I'm, I'm, I hope that you all will at least give us an opportunity to have some representation there. And yes, as Senator Holcroft said, that I, I, I too, Senator, uh, all the physical aspects of that's in the city of Birmingham, I'm the senator for the fifth aspects, UAB. And I would ask all of you all to give us some support because remember, it may be us today, but it may be you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Senator uh, Marsh. First, let me say that I support Senator Wagoner because I know he, I think it's a fair decision. It makes sense. But and I respect the comments of Senator Spitzman and Holtzclaw, who represent those areas. But I also can count, and I know that this committee needs some more working. So with that, I would suggest we carry this bill over. Okay. okay all in favor of carrying uh, SB. 348 over to the call of the chair, signified by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Ayes have it. This bill is carried over. Uh, is Senator Orr, before we adjourn, don't leave, please. Is Senator Orr in the room? I we're adjourned. Thank you very much. Hey, if I can get everybody into the gallery on six, we'll talk about what just happened. <laughs> Okay.